Hey guys, it's Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. We are back in Valheim, back in our town build series with a brand new project to work on. Just want to say thanks to all the positive feedback I got from our previous build, the fishing pond. You guys seem to really like that one. I know I mentioned how Legend of Zelda was obviously a big inspiration for that. And it's good to see that there are other fellow Legend of Zelda fans out there. So today we're going to be working on a church. I figured that the town needs to have a church. So I have a bit of an idea in mind here. I just kind of have it like outlined. Um, but we'll see what we come up with. But without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. Okay, so the church. So the vision I have for this is kind of want to have this tower in the front and then I'm going to have a section of building that's higher that goes in the tower and then kind of like a layered lower section that comes off the side. I think we're going to have some like arches in the interior and then kind of like a center stage area over here. So that's the plan at least. <laughs> we'll see how much it evolves over course of this project but let's just go ahead well first of all let's make sure that our and make sure we can actually get up to this thing so let's finish this thing off I'm thinking probably utilize a lot of stone in this build uh, just for a couple reasons one I just think it'd be a nice look but also I don't want to have to deal with a ton of um, like weathering I guess Widen this up a little bit. Okay. Let's... We'll probably have to do some detail on that later, but let's try to figure out this tower. And how... Well, how tall we want it, first of all. It needs to be pretty... Pretty tall. Here we go. One more up for good measure. But yeah, let's try to get the... Uh, Again, like we always do, let's try to get the, the bones of it in here. Make sure we like kind of the direction that we're headed. Alright. We'll start with that. Might make it a little higher eventually, perhaps. But, um, yeah. I think we'll, I think we'll start with that. All this stuff is going to be pretty tall. So, I'm going to start out with some iron beams. I'll probably cover it with another layer. Eventually, I will need to leave a little bit of a gap there. I think that'll work. One, two, three, four. This will come up through here. Crossing wood beams. So yeah, this is going to be the taller section of roof. That's going to kind of go part way and then cut in. And then there's going to be a lower section that kind of wraps around. That makes sense. Looks like go oh, every two. That'll give us some spots for the archway. Actually, gonna be a pretty decent sized structure. Don't think I really imagined it this big when I was thinking about it, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. All right, and so then from here we're gonna have. Taller roof kind of angling up. Alright, yeah, so that works. And you need to have the lower section here. Oh, so down like so. Just these up. Alright, and this lower section is actually gonna go farther. Alright, this is gonna collapse if I try to. Um, Bring it all together. Put some uh, horizontal beams here. Try to promote the uh, structural integrity of this building. It's gonna go up pretty high, and that's when um, you might start running into some issues just with stability and stuff. Let's see, can we can we make this work? Look at staying. That's good news. Yeah, it's still staying green, so. We'll, uh, we'll try to keep this going. There's going to be the taller roof. Then the shorter roof. It look like from in here. How tall is that? Oh, it's pretty big. Pretty big structure. 
Oh, man. Alright, so I like the overall shape so far. I mean, we're just kind of getting to the beginning, but it does already seem kind of church-like. So, we're on, we're on the right path here. Our tower probably has to go a little bit taller. Didn't expect that roof to go quite that high. So, we'll want to go maybe a little bit taller if possible, just to... Um, Make a little more distinction between the tower and the and the roof. Then it's gonna go into kind of the lower level. That's gonna be really hard to reach all the way across. So we'll just lay in a couple that we can just to give the general sense, the idea of what we're going for here. Yeah, it'll have that that uh, that layering effect right there. See how far we can push this before it starts collapsing stay hopefully that'd be sweet all right I do like how this is coming along okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and disguise all of these iron beams just with the wood beams just because I don't really like the way that the, the iron looks so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that All right, there we go. So I have gone ahead and disguised all the uh, wood iron beams and just made it look a little more consistent with just the wood look. I think I like that better. You don't have to do that. I just kind of do it for a uh, kind of a stylistic thing. Honestly, maybe not the most practical thing if you're in survival mode. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and lay in all this roof so that we have a, at least a sheltered area. We can prevent any weathering Alright, so there's that side. I'll throw in this side as well. Okay, so good chunk of our roof is in. Now this tower. I feel like we need to at least lay in this this tower. So let's go for the pattern here of we'll laying the stone. Actually, so, well, first we gotta figure out the entrance, so, make it a little taller. We'll put doors. Alright, well, we'll keep that for now. We might leave it. But let's go ahead and build the tower here. Continue our pattern. I guess kind of question kind of then becomes what do we do here because maybe the pattern changes oh yeah so from here the pattern I guess has to become like that alternating yeah there we go so that we don't have the lines completely lined up they're just kind of segmented one off like that that works so we'll go ahead and Hold it up like that, so... Yeah, it does look so flat and boring and meh, so we'll have to do something to fix that eventually. Uh-oh. We might need a little more support here. Alright, there. So now it should be... It should be supported. Hopefully. Okay, there's that side. Alright, so... Three sides of the tower are in. And I'm really kind of... Nah, about how like flat this side is. I almost feel like I need to this and then what if I could like custom place in something that just gives it a little more depth on the side and I could bring this up just a little bit maybe I have to get rid of this door ah let's 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 give it a go we might not keep it but let's uh let's see if this makes it look just a little bit more interesting 
Uh, ooh. I don't know about that either. Maybe if I blind it. Something. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do that. Gotta make sure we get the tower right. Um, you know, it's obviously one of the kind of like the first thing you see when you're looking at the church. So make sure we do this thing right. That a little bit better. Okay, I think that is a little bit better for sure. Doesn't look nearly as flat as it did. Um, hmm. Okay, let's throw in back these. Okay, that looks much better, just as is. It's only to add more. Only midway up, actually. We might have to go a little higher. Hopefully we can get up this high. One more. Why are all these green? All these... Oh, no, they're green. I don't know why they were showing red. Hopefully we'll still be good, though. I'm a little bit taller here. There is that. Alright, how else can we make this tower look okay? There we go. That should work. What is falling apart up here? Why? Why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? Or? Jeez. Uh, hmm. Do I need an additional layer of port on the inside, perhaps? Just trying to make this thing not look so ugly. <laughs> look bad. Honest. He's falling apart at the top, but... Oh boy. Why don't we continue that pattern, though? Okay. It's it's com com coming along. It's not nearly as ugly as it was before. <laughs> Uh, it's not perfect, but we'll we'll get there eventually. So is it collapsing? I don't think so. I think we have enough supports for our tower that it's not just gonna collapse. Hopefully these will stay up. Can we get these to stay? And I've had our limits here with the uh, physics mechanics. Okay, so we'll continue to add to this tower. But we have the structure in place, and hopefully it's not just going to crumble. But let's move on to some of the other sides of the um, church. Should probably have like like windows or something, I assume. Uh, churches usually have tall windows. that work? It does. Ugh. You know what? We just gotta do a half step, I think. I want to stick out like that, so we'll do a half step. Work here. That'll work. There. Yep, that was the right, uh, the right call there. Go on these sections. Well, actually, all I want all windows on this side as well. You do that. That looks kind of cool. Okay, let's uh, let's do that, and then we might change it later. But I think just initially, I do like that. Actually, what we could do is you could get rid of that, and then they technically still be the same height. Yeah, why don't we do that? Sure. To do for this, but we'll go ahead and line it with the stone wall. We could do that, but we need... We need to be a half step taller. We might do some adjustments, but go ahead and just make sure we know where our windows are going to be. Uh, let's take these out for now. I think all we need is just a half step and then had it come down here. 
this might give us the space that we're looking for. Uh, okay, yeah. You know what? That's what we're gonna... We're gonna roll with that. Just, I don't want them to... Stick it out like that. Alright, so here we go. So all we've really done here is just shift this up a half step. And to raise this roof up as well, so that these uh, these window frames can fit. I just didn't I didn't want them sticking out above the the roof the roof like that. So, bit of an adjustment, but we're working through it. All right, what do we want to do for these sides? Do we want to keep it all stone? It seems like a lot of stone. Can we break that up at all? Get some wood. Bottom layer was wood, maybe. Alright, go ahead, fill this in with some stone. I want to alternate the patterns here. Alright, I kind of got to figure out how I want to fill the gaps here as well. So, maybe that? So we'll have some stone across, and then, like, do I need to fill that gap anymore? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, let's finish filling in some of these other random spots. Hey, so it is a lot of stone, but it's coming along. Some of the nice uh, detailings, like the tall windows. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the back here. Also, the inside will be a will be a project. Gotta figure out how we want to break up all this stone, too. Um, a lot of gray. We need, we need to add some color at some point. For this back section, I did kind of like a semi-curved wall. Might be, a, might be an interesting idea. This is kind of the, the meeting point of those. It'll be a little bit curved. Give us a little bit more space to work with. Hmm. I feel like this oak is kind of in the way. Thinking about maybe moving it. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna move it. I don't like how the branch sticks kind of right. I plan on having a window there. I don't want the branch sticking right into the window. Or do I even just, you know, just get rid of the oak? Maybe I don't have to move it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I need an oak tree back there. Actually, this is what we'll do. We'll do three taller windows in the back here. Ooh, actually, no, we can't use that because it's not exact, so... Do we want to move taller? Well, no, we can't because it's going to be curved. Yeah, it's got to follow this segment. Okay. Let's try to see... Oh, this is gonna work. Oh man, I think my my life a lot harder to try to go for something like this. Uh, all right, and then we gotta keep this parallel so the roof tiles will actually go into place. I have this awkward space here, but let's see if we can just fill it. And then we just gotta bridge this across. And then we'll close this up. All right. This is plugged up, and then I guess we do some kind of. Well, actually, what's our solution here? Were we able just to slide that in there? Actually, that's not bad. All right, there. Now you can't see the gaps. Then I probably want like a. I don't like. Cool design. Come up through here. Oh, it's not centered. I don't like that. Does that line up? Yeah, much better. Something wasn't looking right to my eye. I was looking at it before. I couldn't figure it out, but it must have been that it wasn't centered, so. There we go. How does that look from the inside? It's alright. I'll take it. All right, so we are just finishing up on enclosing this area here. Cool, 
I'm really glad that we added this uh, kind of curvature to the, to the back side here. I think that makes it look much more interesting. All right. We have an enclosed structure. I think, right? Let's just double check all the way around. Yeah. All right. It's completely enclosed, so we just got to detail it and make it look uh make it look pretty. All right. So, oh, can we slide to continue this pattern? on this side as well. Two and two. All right, let's see if we can get these to fit in the way that we want. There. Cool. All right, good to stay consistent with that pattern. Uh, I guess we should probably put it back here too, right? Makes sense. Oh, looks like we need to um, cover these as well. Alright, there we go. Now it at least looks consistent. Not really sure what color banners to use. Maybe the, I think that might be the, the right choice here. Maybe we don't have this here. Yeah, maybe we'll stick with that. And some incremental cross sections. Three, then one, two, three. There. Three. Uh, no. I don't want these. I feel like it fits the, uh, fits the build. I like a trick to just have, like, beams sticking out like that. Gotta keep it kind of, like, smooth and polished, I think. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. Looks kind of ornate. Without, um, there's a lot of wood, but hopefully it's not too much. All right, so here we go. That's I think that looks much better than just the the regular stone. It looks much more ornate, much more decorated. I don't know if it's too much wood. I don't, I don't think so, but um. Yeah, it definitely looks interesting. It's kind of like that hybrid, like, kind of like Viking cathedral. So, I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. We'll probably add some more things later, but not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and throw those doors back in here. I did like this idea, so just have to be swung a little bit more open now. Alright, there we go. There are the doors. I like that. The structure is complete. Let's go ahead and let's figure out these interiors. So, I mean, what do we actually have here? Um, I didn't want to do kind of like a pillar deal, but I have to make sure there's enough space for like the chairs and stuff that we wanted to do. So let's throw these in here for the kind of like front stage area that we'll have like that have a little bit of angle to the stage here okay so there is the kind of front stage area and then we're going to have benches but we gotta have kind of like a, a walkway still in the middle I want to be like one wide maybe uh, I'm not sure not sure where exactly I want this because I do again I did want to have like pillars that were like also arches. I don't know how I make these because these will go across. Kind of works. They see is three wide though. Or maybe you go one and a half. This is gonna have a little bit of overlap, but it still has kind of like the tight arch. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can make that work. What does that spacing look like? So one, half, half. Yeah, oh, perfect. Cause then it lines right up with that stage there. 
All right, nice. So it does make this area kind of cozy. It's not not a ton of space. Um, I guess we'll figure it out though, and then I gotta kind of figure out what's gonna happen over here. Can we, can we smash another can we like that? Just gonna change angles here. We'll get rid of this staircase to make it work. But we can go oh, that another arch. Uh, we're gonna have to custom place this one. Go we'll do the same over here. Cool. All right, so that just kind of continues the arch um, pattern we had going on. I need some stone up this way, maybe. Like, is that too thin? The arches? Yeah, I think we do need another layer of stone like that. All right, yeah. We'll we'll give it a go on this side. See if we like it. If we don't, we'll remove it. But I think. Just need a little bit higher with our floors here. Yeah, I think this is just the. It looks better having this like extra layer of stone. It just looked way too thin before, so I think it was the right decision here. Okay, so it still works. It pushes it pushes forward. A little bit more than I wanted to, though. Can I make this a little more compact? Up to here. Well, actually, that doesn't really work either. It's got to be... Maybe it just came out here. We get some overlap. I'm not gonna... Like, does it still work? Oh, yeah. Hold on. This might, this might actually work. Oh, okay. There, so maybe maybe that's what we'll do. Makes it a little bit more compact. Doesn't stretch out as far. Okay, let's do that. Do that for this side as well. Okay, that actually that actually works. I'm okay with that. Alright, how do I make this look not kinda s Yeah, she just like hang in there. No, that looks kinda weird. Nope, that doesn't look good. Gotta make it look supported somehow. So maybe we just do some, like, just some beams sticking out, some custom placements. There, okay. It's such a small detail, I don't know why I'm like fixating on it. <laughs> but it's gotta look a little more supported. It bugs me. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> so, we need some chairs. Well, actually, no. We can fit. We can fit more than one. Well, that's pretty tight, actually. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's how it works. Can I still walk through here? Perfect. All right. How else can we decorate this? Well, do you kind of want to have like a little like carpet walkway or something? So maybe we go No, it's too much. All right, I like that. I like having that kind of carpet uh, walkway here. Um, I suppose this should probably be like railing up here as well. Alright. Nice. Okay. Okay. So the interior structure is kind of done. We gotta spruce this place up a little bit. Uh, first let's get in some some torches I guess. We need some light. That's for sure. Um, so let's just go with some sconces. I keep them on the pillars here. Plenty of lighting. 
some kind of stone slab here. Center it. And then we'll have totem. Alright. So we some totems up here in the front. That works. Um, a little bit of color. Some blue banners. Nice. Like it. Alright, let's try to throw some coolers around here. Okay. So, it's a little bit more decoration there. Uh, oh, we gotta close this up too. Hopefully this stays. Uh, it would be cool to... Ah, oh, shoot. I guess we should make a stairway going up here, shouldn't we? Alright. Well, we'll start it... We'll start it here. Looks like it should work. We gotta adjust this. Or maybe not. Maybe we just have it protrude. Do the floor, lo floor like that. The ladder would kind of like come up through. Alright, this thing. Would it actually work? Looks like it would. Throw this here. Okay, so. I guess you gotta be a little careful going up this thing, but uh. You can get to the top, so. Well, almost. Get out. A little too dangerous though. Need to place some areas, some other flooring areas. You don't die. Could throw in, throw in here, actually, and we'll do that. There you go. So even if you fall here, you're not gonna totally die. <laughs> and awesome. So we do have roof access. I like how that works out. Okay, so let's see. Do we want to maybe just split this up like that? I think maybe. These as well? Yeah. Let's stick with that pattern. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I like that. Let's see. Can we throw banners anywhere else? Blue banners. Alright. Uh, right in between here, maybe. Yeah, I think that works. Add some color to the side. Banners in the back here. Alright, so... Banners definitely break up just the stone and wood look there a little bit. I like that. We're probably... I mean, like, 90-95% done here. The inside and outside structurally are pretty much complete. We just have to polish it up a little bit. I think what I'm going to do, just in the interest of time again, is I'm going to finish that last 5%, just clean it up off camera, and then I'll revisit with you guys uh, at the end, just a final tour, just to show what we have here. So, see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so we are back. As you can see, I've made a couple of additions. I've done a bit of landscaping um, so I'll just go through some of the additions I made here uh, just kind of polish this thing up and build out the scene but obviously added some gardens uh, I added a stone fence or stone wall just a low stone wall going all the way around just kind of bring it all into into this single kind of consolidated area um, obviously add a little <laughs> maypole here nicely framed in the center um, Again, so added a lot of gardens. I use these carrot seed flowers just because I think the white looks really nice. And this is meant to be a bit of a well. Just kind of a decorative piece here. And then this is just the hanging torch. And I just let it burn out because it kind of looks... Kind of looks right for this well, I thought. Over here, we just have some additional, uh, like, garden, garden plots here. Uh, and just some nice seating area. So, some... Just cozy areas to sit and enjoy the, the outdoors outside the church. Um, as you can see, so I, I changed up the uh, pattern here on the sides uh, with the window frames just because it actually covered up a hole that we had here. 
And then I added some of the blue shields, which I thought looked nice. Um, if we head all along here to the back, we have a nice little gazebo overlooking the creek that's down here. And then we added some more uh, just kind of like garden flower plots. And yeah, just kind of, again, we just completing the scene here and just making it look like every every part of this build was, was, was thoughtful and, and, and and worked through. We go on to the inside. So not a ton of changes on the inside. We just added some like seats and some banners and things like that and then obviously some of the shields. And then we added some things on here to the stage just to make it look a little more full and there's actually stuff going on here. I think I might have added some seats and banners back here as well. Um, also, oh yes, yeah, so I added some just stairs up here just because I don't know if it would be like people standing up here maybe watching what's going on or like choirs or whatever it is I don't know but yeah so we just polished it up and yeah really really happy with how that turned out it, it, it looks really nice I think all right and so there you guys have it the church is complete uh, definitely a bigger project here uh, took some time for sure, but I really love how it turned out and just between the, the building itself and the landscape, it just looks really nice. I mean, I know it's not your typical Viking church, but you know, I really love it because you look at it and you immediately know that it is a church. So I think we were successful in, in that sense. But thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting on this series. It's been nothing but super positive feedback. And so just thank you so much. These videos obviously take a lot of time and you guys make it all worth it. But if you guys enjoy the series, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.